Entrase. Están hablando. Ah, pa. Hello, hello guys. Good evening. Hi, Yolanda. Hi, uh, your Hi, teacher. How are you? So, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks a lot for asking. Besides, today is our last day, so I'm like, yeah. <laughs> I like Thursdays a lot. How are you? How are you doing? Did you have a good day? Did you have a busy day? In how my was... case, yes, teacher. I have a busy day. I have a busy day busy day and well i uh, went uh, to my ha at home uh, 15 years ago <laughs> like 15 minutes you, yes, you got to yes. your house 15 minutes wow okay so you yes, just got home yes I, I i am at home in this moment but i came a, a few few minutes ago, minutes ago. oh <laughs> yes. all right wow what? Oh, but I didn't but it's have to learning. check your no. I I didn't have to check your the video. video. Oh, it, yes, it's okay. No problem. Have... No worries. <laughs> okay. No worries. Yeah, the video is just like extra information, right, for you to to get like extra vocabulary, to have like some tips. But still, you know, we are going to take the time to to check those the, those things um just to make sure that we get the most of it so no worries that is totally fine um so let me see who else i got here uh mary hi good evening so i see mary there oh okay okay good no evening, problem hi I i'm reading your message no no problem miss that's okay thank you you're fine hi veronica good evening hi good evening thank you for uh joining today so thanks everybody for like joining here. Thank you so much for taking the time to share with us our last session. Today we are going to um, like practice, let's say, this part of uh, like having an interview. We are going to be role playing, having an interview, answering some questions. And probably if we are lucky enough, we will get the same nerves as um, if you were in an interview. like. Um, I don't know, guys, if you have like a lot of experiences with interviews, um, if you have been to interviews recently, or if you have had any English interview, right? So still, we are going to be sharing details regarding that, um, talking about the most common questions you normally get. If you have any tip uh, for us on how to answer those questions, that would be amazing. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much what we'll what we will be doing. Hi, Chris. Good evening. Thanks a lot for joining. Hi, so, hi, hi there. So, guys, uh, to get started, let me just present to you some phrases that are pretty powerful. And normally, uh, we may skip or we may avoid using, but I think that they are very polite and very uh, professional to be used in interviews. And then we start talking about them. So part of the powerful expressions that I uh, came across today were these ones. <clears throat> normally when a person tells you like, nice to meet you, we normally go like by bookish. Yeah, and we say, oh, nice to meet you. <laughs> but we can modify that. You can sound definitely better. You can sound, um, I don't know, you can modify all those little words. And instead of saying, oh, nice to meet you too, nice to meet you, we can just change it and answer it, right? Or reply, for example, with, I'm so pleased to meet you. So I'm pleased to meet you, right? So that would be a little bit different from the nice to meet you too, <laughs> or nice to meet you. So nice meeting you, uh, nice to meet you, I'm so pleased to meet you, I'm pleased to meet you, right? That sounds different and you are saying the same. The second phrase that I want to share with you says, uh, thank you for taking the time to meet with me today. 
So normally when we like say hello, right? And we are like very clumsy sometimes because we don't know what to say. <laughs> and we are like, hi, nice to meet you. My name is Julie. Uh, but we can also say thank you. So thank you for taking the time. Thank you for your time. I appreciate, you know, you, you're taking the time. So there are a lot of expressions we can use and we can sound even more professional. Yeah, more flattering. Um, the other one I got here for you is, I really appreciate uh, being considered for this role. Sometimes they ask you, why do you want to work in the company? Why are you the best fit for this role? Why do you think you should get the job, right? Or uh, we simply say bye-bye, but we can also say thank you again. So I really appreciate being considered for this role. So I hope you consider uh, me for this, I don't know, vacancy or this role or this position, right? Those are like the most common words we use, position, role, or vacancy. And the last one we have that is pretty interesting says, I'm looking forward to talking. So I'm looking forward to hearing. I'm looking forward to receiving. So I'm looking forward, to, like I'm waiting. I'm going to be waiting. I'm hoping to get your call. So I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to talking about my skills and experience. I'm looking forward to having an interview soon. Or I'm looking forward to receiving a call soon. Because normally companies, they tell you, we will call you, right? <laughs> they don't tell you, oh, you're hired, you're in, but they're telling you, I will call you, right? So here we have like these four expressions. Uh, Yolanda says, this job is an option. Uh, what do you mean? In what sense? In this case, uh, for this job or uh, for this role? Or um, this job is not an option? Oh, you mean if, for example, I really appreciate I really being appreciate considered it. for this job. Uh -huh. um, I would say maybe it would be better to use the word position. So okay. mm -hmm, I, I really appreciate uh, for being considered for this position because they offer like some positions, some roles or yeah. So it's like to cover a position. Mm -hmm. I, I would, I, I don't think it sounds bad if you say job, I think it's fine, but the most common would be position or role. Mm -hmm. So guys, questions with this. Do you have any other expression that you consider important that you would like to add? Something that probably I skipped. Do you have any other recommendation here? No, not really. Hi guys. I see. Rafael, good evening. Um, Cody, good, good evening. evening. Thanks, guys, for joining. Claudia, hello. I see hello. Maria Jose, Jasmine. Thank you, girls. Thanks a lot for joining. How are you doing? Hi, Sophie. Good evening. Good evening. I see that already. Hi, Elvis. Good evening. Great to have you. Okay. So, if no questions, let's move on with the next part that is the most relevant. And I have some questions for you. Guys, have you been to a lot of interviews recently? Or have you been in your life to a lot of different interviews? Have you worked for a lot of places? In English, I think not. But I had a, an interview when I applied to, mm -hmm. to an English Academy. Oh, nice. OK. And, but it, just I went this day and then and then I I didn't return or mm -hmm. go back or mm -hmm. but it is the the only interview that I had in English. in English oh okay so you just went to calibrate like your level your English level yes it was for my level oh okay okay so it was a calibration got it Guys, what about, the, I mean, Spanish or English? Have you ever had like English interviews? Has anybody had English interviews? I see Yolanda saying yes. I believe that that nodding is a yes. <laughs> anybody else, have you had an English interview? Elvis, uh, Claudia? I, yes. I had an um, interview to apply for a scholarship to India. Oh, what happened? Well, uh, I applied for two, Two, two times but uh -huh. the first one 
I came to express myself in English. Yeah. So very difficult to understand the uh, Indian uh, accent. Oh yeah, it's very strong. Yes, but mm -hmm. for that I can't do it. But oh. the second one, I, I get it. Uh, I got it and uh, I had that interview uh, mm -hmm. And I won a scholarship oh, for that. Oh, nice. Did you go to India? <laughs> yeah. When? Yeah. When did you go? Uh, uh, at the end of the two, uh, 2009. Oh, OK. Mm -hmm. OK. But nice. That sounds <laughs> like a very nice experience. OK. Yes. And besides nice. talking to a person uh, with a different accent or an accent that is really strong, is it's a big challenge. So nice. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> okay. Okay. What about the rest of you guys? Have you had English interviews? Yes. Uh, tell us, Elvis. Uh, no, it's not Elvis. It's Elvis. <laughs> so Elvis, tell us about it. Yes. When I began the, this job in my company, the interview was in English because oh. in this... Uh, in this job, um, we need a, a English. Cause what do you do? Are you an import, an export? No, it's a, a, a inventory control. And mm. uh, we, once a week, have a, a meeting with the American people. Oh. Yes. Nice. <laughs> that is a really good listening me. practice. Yeah, because it's necessary. I mean, I it's mandatory. <laughs> so more than necessary, it's an obligation. So it's mandatory. Yes. It's compulsory. Ooh, okay. But, wow. but, but my, my, my profession is a leader, but mm -hmm. I, I, I have to, the line they told um, someone when I don't understand, mm -hmm. uh, my boss uh, help me. <laughs> Oh, he translates. Mm -hmm. Got it. But I the try. idea or the objective is not, not to have translators, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> to do it on your own. But that is a very yeah. nice practice. I mean, you are having like the chance to listen into real mm -hmm. conversations, real English. Amazing. Amazing. All right, guys, let's go with the second one. Um, what are some recommendations for an interview? Um, so imagine a person asks you, so, hey, guys, I'm having my first interview. So what would you recommend? What would you suggest? I guess be natural. Okay, be natural. All right. Like the way you behave, the way you talk. When I, yes, when you talk. Mm -hmm. So be natural. Um, Sounds good. Contact, contact eyes. I don't know how to say. Eye contact, yes. So to make eye contact. Okay, okay, okay. It's important to know about the uh, context of the company. Oh, okay. So to research, to research about the company. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nice. Any other recommendation? Do you have any recommendation regarding the, the outfit, like the dress code or colors that you can wear? I see Sophia laughing like, aha, Sophia, what did you wear? <laughs> Or, or what is your experience? I used to have coloring clothes. Oh, okay. A colorful with stars and flowers. Uh -huh. Oh, colorful clothes. Colorful clothes. And maybe the people in, in an interview don't, don't like. Okay, okay. All right. For so, me, for me, teacher, in that case, uh, it will be to use formal clothes. Okay, so formal clothing. All right. So you mean like a jacket, a full coat for women, a full coat for men, or what? What would be acceptable in an interview? What do you think? Or what? One, when the interview is online. Uh, only only the blouse well, the blouse <laughs> the t-shirt <laughs> yes uh, it doesn't matter if you wear shorts or whatever uh -huh. 
But if it is a real, like, like a, a physical interview, like face-to-face -face interview? Control the, ner the nervous. Okay, so For, control your nerves. In my, in my, I was an interview in, in, in English. Okay. But I have problem because uh, I don't understand the equations. The question for for my neighbor. Oh, so you were too nervous to to get. Yes. Oh, that's a really good point. So, what would be the recommendation when you don't understand what the other person is saying? That, that's okay. a really nice. That's a really nice point. Because sometimes in English, we are nervous thinking about the outfit we are wearing. We are nervous thinking if we would get the job or not. But at the moment that they ask you questions, we get even more nervous when the person is speaking fast, right? And how can I say, can you please slow? <laughs> can you speak slowly? That would be like a no, no. So that, that is a very good point. What can we do then? So if, if the person is speaking too fast or the person has a strong accent, um, what would be your recommendation? What can we do? Uh, I think that was Claudia. Claudia, it was you, right? Who, who went to India? Yes. Uh, what would be your recommendation? You, you mentioned that you were talking to these Indian guys. They had like a very a strong accent. So what would be your recommendation? if you don't understand what they are saying? Uh, well, at the first time, I think that uh, you need to try to recognize uh, two or, or one or two words mm -hmm. uh, around the sentences that mm -hmm. they ask you. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that is the point when you, uh, uh, when you can't ex express or, or understand a lot of English like a professional <laughs> and to me is functional that uh, you you uh, you put uh, attention and two or three words mm -hmm. and for that you you try to explain about that uh, three uh, words that you understand oh sounds good okay so try not to understand everything but try yes. to get the max you can, all the words you can, and try to organize the idea in your head. Oh, I heard this, yes. I heard this. So maybe they are asking me this and you start talking, right? Okay, yes. amazing. Or, or, or try to uh, 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 tell them uh, if, is, if necessary, a re, a reconstruct, reconstruction that question, mm -hmm. maybe is the sentence. Okay. Como reorganizar la pregunta. Yes, like ask for clarification, that would be. Mm -hmm. Yes. 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 That's okay. a good point. Uh, for example, if the person asks me, what is your surname? And I'm like, what is that? Surname? So I can ask for clarification, not like, can you repeat? But in the sense of, I'm sorry, uh, is your question about my last name? Is your question about my surname? Is that surname you mean? So you can like find a way to um, let the person know or to make sure, or just to make sure mm, you want to know my last name, right? And so you go, right? So that's a very nice one. Like ask for clarification. Okay, nice, nice. But I totally get you with the, with the nervousness uh, and we sometimes get blocked out, right? So we don't know what we are doing. We are, uh, mine, our brain gets blank because we are too nervous. So even I think that happens in the Spanish as well. The last one, guys, we have is what is something you should not do during an interview? You already mentioned be natural, the dress code, like wearing formal clothing, uh, try to control the way you behave. Now, what is something that you should not do during an interview? Attend your cell phone. Okay. Okay, so being with your cell phone, all right. Anything else? <laughs> so just being with your cell phone. Do you have any other recommendation, guys? Don't say a personal thing. I don't know. 
Don't I say don't uh, personal. Jasmine? Yes, I don't know how could I say that, but no, must be a chicle. Then <laughs> chew gum. Okay. So, like chewing gum. So chewing gum. All right. I totally agree with you. <laughs> Actually, when you chew gum, uh, if it is English, um, it's more difficult to speak, right? So it is not clear. In Spanish, I think it's disrespectful or rude, but in English, it's more difficult to speak. So I, I would agree with this 100%. So don't chew gum, all right? Uh, anything else? Uh, Sophie, what you were saying was? And don't say um, personal thing. Personal, uh, you like something about the, I don't know, your family or. Okay. I mean, preguntan. Okay, like don't share personal information or too personal, probably, or too sensitive information. Okay, okay, okay. Anybody else? I think that when you're nervous, uh, you tell some jokes and mm. in an interview, maybe don't do it. Oh, okay. So and don't when, share jokes. Yes, tell me, tell me, tell us. And when you, sh you had nervous, mm -hmm. you should be careful with facial histories. Hest uh, uh -huh. With the gestures. gestures. Uh -huh. For example, Oh, what kind oh. of gestures do you make when you are nervous? In my case, for example, when I'm nervous, I start, well, normally I sweat a lot, but when I'm nervous, I sweat more than normal, you know? So, um, mm -hmm. yeah. A lot serious. Oh, you are too serious. In my, in my case, I, I serious. You look like angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. So you have to be careful with your expression, your facial uh, gestures. Okay. So don't be too nervous. Don't be too flirty, like for men or women. So don't flirt. I'm going to write this in the chat. So flirt, like giving, saying beautiful things or flattering people. Yeah, like coqueteo. So don't flirt either for men or women. Uh, anything else, guys? The rest are quite I, be punctual. Are, be punctual, yes. What about the rest? You're very quiet. Dago, why are you so quiet? <laughs> I haven't heard Mauricio. I haven't heard Monica. Guys, why are you so quiet today? Tell us about your experiences. Okay. <laughs> I think that the, the I Hello, think that... sorry, you are you are uh, talking about the last what question. point what point of that? Yeah, the last one. What is something you shouldn't do during an interview? Ah, what is something you shouldn't yes not do so when... they mention uh don't chew gum, don't check your cell phone, right? Um be careful with the way you behave or your gestures, your expression. Uh, Dago, I think you had something, Dagoberto. I think that uh, uh, you don't to complain, quejarse. Uh, complain. Uh, um, of the last works, the, mm -hmm. the last company. Okay. So don't complain about your previous company or your previous job. Okay. Okay, sounds good. Now, guys, let's go ahead with the core, with the heart of today's um, what session that is trying to have kind of a job interview. So yesterday I showed these questions to you. So the first one says, tell me about yourself. Tell me about your working experience. What are your weakness and strength? Tell me about an important decision you have made. What are your salary expectations? Um, I remember yesterday also uh, Yolanda mentioned something about future expectations. Like, how do you see yourself in five years? How do you see yourself in 10 years? 
What are your goals for the future? Or what are your expectations for the future? What other question do interviewers ask you? What other question do you remember? Right now, the problem is that the people, the young people don't want to work. <laughs> Uh, I mean, yes, uh, <laughs> we want to be YouTubers. About the, the, in, in about five or 10 years, that was uh, something, something uh, there is a, uh, how can I explain that? It's a, it, it is maybe, for our, our, maybe for our generations, but the problem, the new generation in in United States or in Europe, mm -hmm. the people, they don't want to work. They want okay. to they be free. <laughs> want to live her life, not to be, uh, not to be. Como, I don't know how to say esclavo or attached at, or, slave? or attach no, or attach at the at the work. They don't uh, want to be attached. They don't want to be uh -huh. like married. Uh -huh, with a company. They don't want to be job. married mm -hmm. with 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 one job, for example. Mm -hmm. they, it's a it's another kind of they have another a uh, uh, point of view or, or think mm -hmm. they they are uh -huh. it's the 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 uh, are are changing the the buenos uh, the think of mine is it's uh, of the john are changing it's it's not the same right now no and, uh, it is definitely not the same uh -huh. but i think it depends because in my next generation i think is my daughter no but in my case i saw her uh, she's very responsible of the of the duties well actually i think here we have different kind of generations uh, so i don't know if we have baby boomers no no i don't think yeah i think we have baby boomers we have generation x we have millennials and who is the youngest uh okay i think yeah. the millennials is, well, the millennials uh -huh. but the millennials. Uh, millennials no is, uh, millennials are between no. the 90s 90s and 2000 so yes. like 85 yes. 85 2000 that, that would be millennial then we have seniors uh, that are also called the la generacion rata or something like that so they are like the youngest uh so who is the youngest i mean who is the youngest here do we have anybody who is 18 or 17? Jasmine, how old are you? I think Jasmine is the youngest. Sophie, I don't know if I saw your finger up. <laughs> I don't know if that was a question or you were talking to somebody else. No, it's a lie. Oh, oh, okay. So you're not saying it. Yes, Claudia. I think that another interview question is a uh, tell why you are the right fit uh, for what you, for what they need that's a really nice one so why should we hire you why are you the best person for this job yeah that's right any other oh also i think somebody said before that you should investigate a little ah yes yeah, so jasmine is a senior jasmine is 17 oh. years old mm -hmm. oh. yeah. Uh, Very young. You're the baby here. Oh, so you're the baby here. She's the baby of the group. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Wow. She's really young. All right. <laughs> so also they ask you, for example, um, what do you know about the company? What do you know about us? Right. So it's important to know a little bit about this. Now, um, I don't know, guys, if you had the chance or the time to watch the video about this question. Tell me about yourself. This is one of the most difficult questions because we don't really know what to say. We don't really know what kind of information we have to share, right? Like I studied kindergarten in this place or I went to high school. So what do you think we should include in tell me about yourself? What is something relevant they want to know about you? I saw the video and then say that you shouldn't talking about your personal life. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's just for your experience about the, the your profession or works experience, I mm -hmm. think. Okay. And when you are talking about yourself, is just um, talking 
uh, all about the works that you apply in, in this moment, I think. Mm -hmm. All right. Yes. So experience, working experience, all right. Maybe some education, like the most important educational background you have. Yes, Monica, tell us. Hello, by the way. I haven't heard your voice today. <laughs> no, but I just come from the church. So I recently be at the class. Oh, no worries. That's okay. Yeah, so I think when the interviewer asking you about something about yourself, is not different be the interview in Spanish, it'd be the interview in English because mm -hmm. I I'm I did many interviews in English and all of the interview is only for now what when they learn the you know the language. So mm -hmm. it's like talking by yourself but also talk me about how do you learn this language and mm -hmm. you you gonna give like your explication and how do you grow with the language. That is something that I think that it's very important to say. Well, mm -hmm. when I was young and that at that time, and I learned this language and that I, and also not be like be be like very very specific, like personal, make the personal. Mm -hmm. It's something that I think that is different when in a in a Spanish interview asking you about the tell me about yourself. I, and also it's very, very different when it's in uh, English because they really want to know your your vocabulary, your yes. grammar. And this question is only for the you speak a lot. And mm -hmm. that is something that I think about this question. I totally agree with you. Um, you know, I haven't had a Spanish interviews in a really long time. Last year, I have one uh, interview in Spanish. And for me, that was very, I don't know, invasive, I would say. They ask me like, are you married? Do you have children? Um, what, what else did they ask me? Who do you live with? What is your mother's name? Do you live with your parents? I, I felt, I don't know, like, oh, that's privacy, you know? So you're invading my privacy. I felt it really family? different. <laughs> yeah, I was like, why are you asking me if I have a baby? I mean, why are you asking me if I'm married? In English, I think it's different because what Monica um, was saying, they want to know how well or how competent you are in English. If you can yeah. understand and if you are able to communicate. So normally- That's like your, your, your background. Uh -huh, they don't ask you, I mean, do you have babies? Mm, I don't think so. It's in weird. Yeah, the interview in Spanish for a woman, I, it, I think that could be like very, you know, this it could be like, I don't, I don't like it. So yeah, I, I was, like, I, I was, I felt, I don't know, not kind of upset. Uh, it was upsetting for me. So I was like, what? <laughs> what do you want to do? Okay. Thank you, Yolanda, for sharing that. So Baby Boomers is 1946, 1965, Generation Z, um, 1965, 1982. Oh, I know it as Generation X. Millennials, mm -hmm, 1981 and 1996, yes. And the Generation Z, that is the senior generation. So that is like current generation, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yes, in my case, my daughter is millennial, no? She is millennial. And I oh. think she's very responsible. I, I am millennial actually, and uh, I think most of the characteristics don't really represent us, but I am between millennial and, wait, let me see. Yes, I'm millennial, truly millennial. <laughs> okay, okay, guys, so let's go ahead and try to answer these questions. The second one we have, so tell me about yourself. Let's try to include a little bit about your education, the most important elements of your education, working experience and personality. It is important to include because this is the chance you have to sell yourself. So good things about your personality, right? Weakness and strength. So your good points, bad points, but I like yesterday's answer. I think Yolanda was the one. So she was saying something negative about her personality, but she says, I'm trying to change this. So that is the idea with the negative points, like to soften. I don't really know who that person was. Uh, the other one we have is tell me about an important decision you have made. So remember to use simple tasks 
And what are your salary expectations? Do you have any recommendation with salary expectations? What can you answer? It? I want to have the salary of a congressman, you know? What would be your recommendation here with salary expectations? <laughs> okay, in my experience, uh -huh. uh, I need to, to investigate uh, mm. the salary of the people uh, who works in the international company mm -hmm. because my expectation uh, is was too high. Very, no, very low. Ah, very low. The <laughs> yes, opposite. Yes, yes. Okay. and I need to check with another uh, people okay. who uh, work with this kind of, of uh, companies. And the salary is very high, no? Oh, okay. But that My wouldn't be a problem. <laughs> yes. Yes, it was good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that is amazing. So, yeah, it's important to investigate a little, like, similar positions, right? Or in similar companies. Um, because they ask you for a number. So, uh, I was saying once, oh, you know, it really, I think whatever should go with my abilities, what I can do. But they were like, give me a number. <laughs> so it's important to give a number like most of the times, but it's important to investigate. So guys, we are going to be going in groups. This is just a speaking practice. I'm going to send you there to groups. And eventually at like some specific moments, you will see that some people will disappear from your group. I'm going to be rotating people. So you have the opportunity to talk to others. Um, you have two roles. You can be the interviewer, right? So you can be the one asking questions or you can be the interviewee. So you decide what role you want to take. Um, if you are the interviewer, I will just ask you to take the role as if it were real. Like, hello, nice to meet you. My name is Julie. I'm going to be asking you some questions uh, for I don't know, for a managing position. So I would like to know a little bit about yourself. And there you go, right? Like in a real, imagine that this is a real interview. Um, let's, let's make a, let's think about a company, guys. Where do you want to work? So everybody is in the same role and in the same uh, path. Where can we work? Tell me a company that is really well paid. Can you think of a company that pays good money? A good salary? In El Salvador? <laughs> I don't know. No, no company? No idea. No teacher. idea? Let's no. think about a company, guys. An international My one. company isn't. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I but don't know. Company, but not yours. Okay. Oh, any company? G give me like a company here. Um, Constance? Tell, tell us, teacher. Tell us, yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't, I don't um, know. I don't know. <laughs> um, let's, let's, let's think, right, that we are applying for a managing position. So that is going to be a managerial position. Managing, managing position. Uh, pero, no, 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 it was Noemi. Noemi, are you here? Noemi said last time a company. Hi, Noemi. Hi. Hi, you mentioned last time there was a company, like an international company that was paying really good money? No, I work in a Salvadorian company, but uh -huh. we work for the international company. Oh, what is the international company's name? Uh, Columbia's Forward. Okay, Columbia's? Columbia's Forward. It's Forward. Yes. I, teacher. Yes. I think that because I learned and I made something investigation when I was studying in my high school okay. about the about the this uh, I forget uh, Google the company of Google that had many um, many countries work for the company and I remember that in that moment they have a good you know. Um, environment they have a good you know support for the customer support for the employees so i think that could be google or apple i think it would be microsoft in general but yes uh, actually the call center tell us has or the support amazon. for google or um oh amazon 
but but let's go closer <laughs> closer first and then you can like go a little bit higher so let's go for a managing position imagine that you're applying for a managing position super, and super selectors uh, or or you can change the company that is quite fine i mean if you make good money that's okay <laughs> so let's go with them. any managing position at any company you just decide who is the interviewer, right? And the interviewee. If you have more questions, guys, include them. There's no problem. So let's go now. I'm going to be like, you know, rolling you. I'm going to be probably swapping you. So let's go for five, seven minutes, and then I, I will swap you. Let's go, let's go. Managing position for huh? No, no lo pongas todo, no lo pongas. Go. Go. Let's go, Vero. Let's go, Maurice. Oh, I'm going to interview Maria Jose. Uh, and then the, the first, and you the second one. And I, and I begin. Tell me about yourself, please. Maria Jose. Or me. Or tell me about me. Si quieres, empieza usted. Es que yo no tengo experiencia laboral, por eso. <risas> um, well, um, I graduated in 2004 in uh, university, Catholic University. And I started working in education in Minel. And I learned so much about this job um, because the schools have another procedure to, to the accountant. So I am an accountant. <laughs> so I graduated for accountant. And, and then I, I want to be looking or looking for another experience and and I relieve really to this job. I need to grow growing and I relieve. Really, and I work in, in my accounting office, in my own accounting office with um director of schools <laughs> with directors um, with teachers because i do tell a content about the schools and i guess that's all i don't know maria jose Una pregunta, ¿iríamos alternando las preguntas o quiere que todas se las haga usted? O sea, digamos, contesto usted primero esta y, va, y luego contesto yo así como usted ha contestado o quiere que sea todas la, las preguntas que están ahí y luego uh, I están think yo. That for, uh, for practice purposes, uh, como ya comenzó Sofi, like, usted solamente sería el entrevistador. So, usted sigue como entrevistador, right? Uh, le puede ser como, si, si le puede hacer como más preguntas adicionales. Thank you for your answer. Y le puede hacer, like, extra questions. Uh -huh. So, creo que ahorita okay. funcionaría que Sofi responda todo como si fuera una entrevista real. Uh -huh. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Entonces... Tell me about your working experience. 
my work experience, um, I think is a good job because. Analyst of. Analyst, what? Of, permit me. Analyst, analyzed. Analyst, an analyzed, analyzed. analyzed. uh-huh. Of recruitment. Or recruiting, analyze of recruiting. It's my position actually. It's my actual hey. position. Are world. you a recruiter? Recruiting, uh, analyze, yes, analyze. Teacher, I'm recruiting. Uh, in Spanish or in English? In Spanish. Uh, do you interview people? Yes, teacher, I interview people. <gasps> Oh, wait, what? So you are a recruiter. You can give us, you can give us a, uh, uh, experience. Uh, experience. It's important uh, experience. How do you say, how do you say catedra? Master. Master. Yeah. He masters the master. And I was like, and I was like, wait, tell me, give me more ideas. And Josue was so quiet. Como, Josue? How is that possible? <laughs> Okay. I'm so shy, teacher. I'm sorry. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay. So, but no, but this is important. So, Josue can be the the interviewer now, and you can interview your and Mauricio at the same time. Yes, this is the the uh, the That's exercise what that doing. we are. Yes, yeah. yes. I was uh -huh. like, wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Um, Sorry, okay, okay. <laughs> Josue, tell me about your working experience. <laughs> I have five uh, years on human records. Uh, in my work, I have contact with many people. Mm -hmm. I do the interview. I do the selection of the selection process. I, I realize uh, informants report report realize report about the uh, about the the results result of the psychology uh, uh, you analyze analyze the people oh yeah I uh, okay. The Okay. You analyze the people. Does the people is a is a very emotional? Is, is that have a, a it has a, is good in emotion or and and for a head and the for thinking or have an, a, a good an active attitude for that job. That, that's all the things do you have to ana analyze? Huh? Uh, I analyze the answer of the people, analyze uh, the, the skills, no. The history, history of gestos, como se? Yeah, yes. expressions, facial expressions, 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 facial expression. But, um, so. I analyze you the, hmm? but, but you, you don't evaluate the skills of uh, for this uh, position, only the aptitude or the attitude, <laughs> or what's the up aptitude up? or the attitude. Or, or, or um, what is the company you work for? Because I, I, I think it depends on the company too. <laughs> I work in in English is um, bueno Ministry of Hacienda, Ministry of Office of Finance. Financial, ah, in the financial Ministry. ministry. Financial you work financial. in the treasure department. Yes. <gasps> mm. <Que yuca. laughs> but, but wait, are you a psychologist? Yes, I'm psychology. There you go. Okay. So you analyze people's fa uh, facial expressions when they are talking. Yes. During the interview. Mm. Like a polygraph. Are, they are not lying. No, or no, no. Like the no. polygraph for now. Uh -huh. I mean. Uh -huh. Because it's like, when? <laughs> in, in what specific moment do you do that? Okay. Oh, so we need to talk more about that. 
<laughs> but I in didn't, Spanish, please. I didn't know. I what have you a did. question. Uh -huh. I'm like, I have a question. <laughs> I have a question. But uh, I think uh, uh, you uh, evaluate the people, uh, but the skill, not the skills for the position. The, you evaluate uh, the personality of the people. No. Or do you um, evaluate? Or do you do you pass exams? Do you pass evaluations? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Pass an exam. So, Um, you analyze analyze the, the report of the uh, uh, the personality test, oh, yes. the intelligence. Oh, got it. Okay. But no, the expression of the people. No, no, no. It's it, the, the expression is in the interview, but it's no. Mm, got it. So it is in the tests. In so the, the test, kind of personality, yes. the profile of the, the applicants. Profile. Got mm -hmm. it. Yes. Long profile. time ago, long, long, long time ago, I applied a, for oh. a. A, a position in at the, in the minister in the financial ministry. Oh, really? But yes, but a long, long, long time, more than 25 years. Oh uh, yes, <laughs> yes. I have only five years in the ministry. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but the test is very long uh, and very hard to to complete because you have a a time to do uh, each section. Yes. Yes. It's okay. long, very long yes. exam. Yes, I don't like it. <laughs> you know, when I was, uh, well, in the last two places I have worked or I have applied, they have like a new test now because um, I had taken polygraph in some companies mm -hmm. and uh, I had taken personality tests and intelligence yes, tests. Personality. But in my last company, when I started working, um, they uh, asked me to complete another. It is called honesty test. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was over the computer, right? Uh, and there, the camera was on and they were asking me questions like a polygraph. So I was like, what's this, you know? So I was I was surprised maybe because of all the tests that they ask you, they you have to complete and everything. So I was like, wow, okay. But I got it yes. now. Yes. I don't like this kind of test because mm -hmm. I, I had an experience uh, with a polygraph uh, mm -hmm. test. And when uh, the people uh, ask me about the honesty of my uh, el, el last uh, employee, employer, uh, employer, uh, uh -huh, I, I am not sure to to get to what answer. to say. Oh yes, it, this uh, my last employer uh, was honest, yeah. but it's not true because I work uh, by a company to, uh, I don't know, uh, make a, um, okay, make a, I don't know, estafas al fisco, no? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I don't like this kind of test because it's not about you, it's about, about your people? last employee. Yes, I don't like it. Uh-huh. I'm sorry to hear about that. Yes, but yeah, they ask you a lot of questions, so I don't know. It's yes, I, I I have a comment about I have a comment about your uh, invasive uh, interview. Invasive. Ah oh, yes. Yes, I think is uh, is kind of discrimin discrimin discriminatorio. Yes, mm -hmm. so discriminatory. Uh huh. Discrimin discriminatory uh, about woman. Uh, I thought the same. I was like. <laughs> I was like, really? Are you asking me that? Because in English, they ne well, they have never asked me that, you know. At the most, they have asked me, who do you live with? Where do you live? Mm -hmm. And I think that is okay. But if they started asking you, like, are you engaged? Are you married? Do you have babies? Mm -hmm. I felt it was too much for me. And um, I didn't get the job, but I was not angry about it. <laughs> I was like, you don't hey, ask hey, personal hey, questions in the interview. Uh -huh. What kind of questions do you ask? <laughs> no, well, actually, you just evaluate the test. No, but you know, you know, uh, I have a, a, it was long, long time ago when I was supervisor mm -hmm. in, a, oh, okay. 
in a in a maquila. Okay, in a factory. Uh, in a factory, yeah, in a factory. The when I was, I remember the interview was very easy, but mm -hmm. one of the one of the uh, point one of the uh, the asking about about uh, we asking her mm -hmm. because the the major was a woman mm -hmm. um, and we uh, we asked her about if uh, if they have a children mm -hmm. or uh, if she has planning to have a baby mm -hmm. uh, if they are married something like that because uh -huh. for the for Ma the factory, factory for the factory is a they lose a lot of money when they have to go to the to the maternity, maternity leave, leave. Oh. Uh -huh, for the maternity leave and mm -hmm. that and they ask about a lot uh, in asking about that point no but uh, right now i don't know we say uh, i think there is a, a well man my wife was telling me that he's prohibited. That uh, it's against, it's against, or not. it's against a, a to the rights no. of women. That's not what I knew. The right. Yes. For example, they cannot ask you, "Are you oh. pregnant? Uh, do you have AIDS? Do you have HIV?" I know they cannot do that because it is against the law. But I was it's telling It's illegal to ask this question. It is illegal, but. But uh, when I got my first job, they didn't ask me, are you pregnant? But immediately after the interview, uh, I don't know if I told you guys, they gave me like a little container and they asked me, go to the bathroom, please. And can you pee? You know? No. So, no. Yeah, they did. And, in and El Salvador, was, teacher. Yes, here in El Salvador. So we Maybe. were like, we were like three or four people like we finished the interview they were okay wait a minute you know we completed the interview they told me oh you're hired you're in so wait a minute and then they were like the the doctor actually came you know with a little container and the doctor was like okay you know what can you please go to the bathroom can you be there and i was like excuse me what <laughs> but i wanted the job <laughs> So, you know, I got to do it, but I know that is because they want to check. They don't tell you or they don't ask you, are you pregnant? They don't ask well, you, do you consume drugs? But they the do drugs. The test. Mm -hmm. I think it was more a drug test. I'm not sure, but mm -hmm. uh, but they do it here in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. But if you need the, the, job, the job, you <laughs> need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I went. <laughs> yeah, if you, uh-huh. Yeah. If you have another alternative, yes, you have to go to the bathroom. I mean, yeah, because yeah. I was like... That was, that was in an English corporation? Yeah, that was in an American country, American company. Uh -huh. So, I uh, mean, yeah, I was like surprised to be honest because that was my first job. So I was really surprised uh, because yes. I had never heard about that. Uh, the, I completed the polygraph with them. Um, so that was a still something new. And I was like, oh my God, oh my God, they are going to discover my lies. But I was very young. I was like 20 years old. So I, I did the polygraph with them. And what else did I do? I took an intelligence test that was super difficult and a lot of crazy things that I never imagined in my life, you know? <laughs> but yeah, yeah. So they do it here. So weird but yeah yes. sometimes we need a job <laughs> so we gotta yes. do it. <laughs> this is the reason <laughs> yeah so anyways we gotta do it guys give me just a minute oh my god time flew so fast and we'll be going back there hold on a second Hi guys, thanks a lot for joining. Thank you so much. So how was your practice? Good. Good. Nice. Did you get nervous? 
I really love when we have this 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 conversation because my most comadre, it's you know I love it. Oh, super nice. All right. Yeah, unfortunately, our time goes so fast. <laughs> but hopefully in the future, at least you have an idea, right? What kind of questions you can be asked and like some like little pieces of info um, so you can get ready for that. Um, guys, unfortunately, well, unfortunately, but fortunately, <laughs> this module has gone so quickly. I really enjoyed like spending the time with you and spending this hour. I just want to say thank you. Uh, thanks for the ones who have been with us every single time, like participating, giving opinions, sharing your experiences. Um, this has been like a really wonderful group. And Dagoberto todavía nos debe por ahí información del marriage, que yo me quedé con la duda, you know. But hopefully in the future. <laughs> what kind of dub, teacher? We can, uh, the thing is that one of the topics was about marriage and weddings, I think. And the Dagoberto no pudo en ese momento compartir por cuestiones ahí, you know, de detallitos que lo podían escuchar. <laughs> <laughs> no, just kidding. But it was just amazing, guys, uh, to share time with you. So espero encontrarlos más adelante and that we still can um, share, you know, some experiences. Antes de irnos, guys, solo si me pueden ayudar con su camarita, like to take your picture, to be finishing. Uh, gracias también, guys, a los que ya completaron parte de la plataforma, que ya estamos solventes con eso. You're welcome. It was super cool. I really like this group. Probably because after quarantine, um, no tenía un grupo así, you know, que compartiera super open-minded. So I was like, hey, this is cool. I like it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Let me just take your picture. Thank you. Thank you for oh, no activating problem. your camera. Okay. Oh, Jasmine. Hello, oh, Jasmine. <laughs> yeah. Hi. Nice to meet you, Jasmine. Hi, <laughs> no, guys. No, you can't stand you, so she turned it on. All right. Oh, hi, Berto. So your baby is oh, wow. like, hi, boy, girl. All right. This was, this was like a family meeting. Well, Ivania, hello. Nice to meet you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me take your picture, guys. And there you go. Nice. Yes, it lesson view. Thanks, everybody. It was a pleasure to meet you. Hope to see you, you in the future super soon. Okay. And bye-bye. Uh, Have an amazing Thank night. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.